Michael. Well, we are very excited to kick off a new monthly series today. It's a partnership with the Da Vinci Science Center called Up and Atom Science. And I headed out to the center recently to talk with the folks there about what we hope to accomplish. Take a look. Good morning, everybody. We are so excited to be teaming up with the Da Vinci Science Center for our Up and Atom Science Series. Troy Thrash, the Executive Director here at the Da Vinci Center, joins me this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for being here. And most importantly, thanks for putting up with us for the next couple of months. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. We have a lot to talk about we over the next few months. We have tons to talk about. Now, let's talk about Up and Atom Science. I wish I would have come up with it, but it was all you and your wonderful staff here at mm -hmm. the Center. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the name and kind of what's behind it. Well, certainly for us, when you think about up and atom in the morning, that's one of the things that we focus on because very early in the morning, when we hear the kids start coming in here, this science center really wakes up, and so yeah. that's very important for us to be up and ready to serve. Uh -huh. But secondly, of course, the atom, the little play on words there, yes, as we know, it. the atom is the fundamental unit of matter. Everything we see, everything we feel, everything we touch is all made up of atoms. And what we're about here is the seeing, the feeling, the experiencing science, so it really does fit this to a team. It's perfect. And Troy, looking around us, there's so many great exhibits and things are always changing. You know, to our viewers, they might say, oh, I don't remember seeing that last time at when I was at the Da Vinci Science Center, but that's really the goal here. Absolutely. We're always trying to change everything we do and everything the visitor experiences here. If you look here behind us, we have yeah. one of our newest exhibits. This is a, a globe that features all sorts of different aspects of the Earth of the atmosphere and how we as humans interact with it. So we have our permanent ex exhibits always changing, but also we have traveling exhibits. Over the summer we had the Body Carnival, which was just fantastic. So Taught fun. kids about health and how to use that wonder of the human body. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And, and that's really our goal here, Troy, is we're right. trying to bring some of the excitement that surround us here at the center into the homes of our viewers through our Up and Atom uh, science series. And, and what we're really trying to show people is that these things are so important, technology, science, math. Would you say they're more important now than, than ever before? Well, they're certainly more important now than ever before, but I can tell you how important they are right now pales in comparison to how important they're going to be 10 years, 20 years down the road. When you think about future jobs, even some of the things that we do today, there's going to be so much more of a focus on math skills, on science skills, engineering, technology. So it's very important for us that we get the kids in here to help them understand that they can do this now and that their future success in the workplace really depends on things that they experience here and then take out to their schools. So great. We're so lucky to have this center right in our own backyard. Take us on a little tour, if you will. I know folks watching are dying to see uh, what you guys are all about if they've never been here. Show us some of the favorites. Oh, sure. I, I wish we had the time to see all 12,000 square feet of exhibit sure. space here, but let's see some of the, the favorites. First of all, we have a touch tank, which is certainly one of the kids' oh, favorites. Yeah. They get to come in and once they wash their hands for the for the animals, they get to actually feel, they get to hold real marine creatures. Whether it's a sea urchin, whether it's a starfish or crabs and such, they really get to experience that firsthand. Yeah. And over to the left here, there's a familiar guy. There certainly is a familiar guy. This is the 69 him. News Weather Center. This is certainly very popular with yeah. the kids. Uh, we have several videos of Ed Hanna, of course, teaching kids about uh, some of the, the fascination of meteorology. But probably the, the best, most exciting is that kids actually get to do their own weather forecasts on screen with the blue so screen. And that's fun. really exciting. And yeah, kids I've, just love it. I've seen that, that center packed, Troy, when uh, all the tour groups are here and the students are here. Mm. And over here we've got something else that I know the kids love. Yes, we do. This is actually our tunnel vision, and we have a couple of visitors. It's very good timing oh, here. Oh, perfect. Ready and waiting. All right. What we have here with our, with our tunnel is this is in our electricity and light area. The tunnel itself actually shows kids what it's like to, first of all, use their vision, but then when we turn the lights off in the tunnel to show kids that when their vision, that particular sense, no longer works, how their sense of touch actually takes over to help them manipulate where they're going. 
Okay, that is so neat. I know that the kids love this one, Troy. Absolutely. They run to it every time. Well, what's coming up this fall? What do we have to look forward to? Oh, we've got a lot of great stuff going on this fall. Besides, of course, a, a new traveling exhibit that we have coming in in October, which is called Map Midway. We are so excited yeah, about that's gonna be awesome. really going to teach kids real-world application of math. We're just thrilled about that. But we also have a lot of other programming going on. Really, it seems like each week of the fall, we have National Chemistry Week coming up in early October, National Earth Science Week is coming up. We have Leonardo's Imaginings, which we're really excited about. Our muse, Leonardo da Vinci, mm -hmm. we're going to have a weekend where we're going to be showing kids all of the different accidental things that Leonardo invented as he was trying to perhaps invent oh, other fun. things. But we have all sorts of holiday programming, Thanksgiving, Great. we have over the Christmas holidays, and of course our big New Year's Eve party we're excited about So as well. fun, and people can check out your website for Absolutely. more information. Coming up in just a few minutes, we're heading upstairs to the newly uh, renovated preschool room, That's right. and we're going to be talking about the expanded preschool program. We'll show you what's available for the little learners here at the Da Vinci Science Center. Stay with us, we're coming right back. Well, I had a chance to act like a preschooler recently, which some might argue is an everyday occurrence, when we headed out to the Da Vinci Science Center over in Allentown. We explored what's available for the little learners in part two of this week's Up and Atom Science. Take a look. Good morning, everybody. We are back at the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown. Troy Thrash, the executive director, joins me once again. And Tina Mazzola, the preschool coordinator, is here with us now. We are in the Little Learners Lab here at the Da Vinci Science Center. And Troy, I know when you guys opened up back in 2005, the focus was really on K through 8. But that has all uh, expanded and, and changed quite a bit now. That's correct. If you look at national models of workforce development and education, they really focus now on that expansion, the high chair to rocking chair, lifelong learning, and, mm -hmm. and we've decided to follow that model as well. When you think about it, kids when they're two, three, four years old, they're really into things like space and rocks and dinosaurs and yeah. weather and such. And so we feel it's very important that we expose them even more to those things early because we don't, we don't want them to lose interest in that later on. Yeah. So that's why we're focusing now a little bit earlier than we have before. Great. And how, how young are we talking here, Troy? How young is too young? Well, I don't know that there really is a too young, but in terms of our programming, where we really focus is the two years old to five years old. Okay. We figure that's very important if you, again, look at our national partners and also if you look at some of the partners we have in the Lehigh Valley that's where that focus is as well and then what's important there is that it's the whole family that gets involved in this out-of-school program sure. to really help prepare these kids for what they're going to experience in school in science and math. Great. So exciting. And Tina, I know you have a blast working with our little learners and their parents here in your lab. Take us on a little tour, if you will. Give us a little general overview as to what's available for the little learners here. The Little Learners Lab is especially for preschoolers. And the bilingual exhibit called Go Figure is built low to the ground for easy access and it has five storybook setting with a focus on math. And we also will we also have Discovery Wednesdays, which started last week and will continue next week. Uh -huh. And next month, excuse me. And next month for our theme, we're going to introduce our new friend, Stuffy, over oh, here. Oh, hi, Stuffy. Mm -hmm. Very handsome. Yes, he is. <laughs> Stuffy's here to help Help us learn about bodies and how to keep them very healthy. Okay, so that's the theme of next month, right? The October 14th? We're going, to, we're going to focus on, yes. Okay. And perhaps we could introduce Stuffy by introducing a little bit of his inside. Oh, Shall hello. We? Okay, if so I Troy could... and I are going to be honorary preschoolers today. Yes, yes. And well, help out her. Yes, 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 we love it. And could you, do you know what this is called that we're taking um, out of Stuffy? I would guess this is his intestine, small uh, intestine. Yes, please. Know? Thanks, Troy. It is. It, it doesn't look like a small intestine. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Not at all. But you know, we'll stuff is a big guy though. For a surprise, October fourteenth. Okay. okay. So come to the the uh, kid discovery kid class. Kid discovery. But talking about the small intestine, we're going to see what might happen to your delicious, nutritious breakfast that Ooh, we had this morning. Okay. All right. So perhaps Eve, if you could hold your yes. tummy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hello. I think it's a lot skinnier than my tummy. And Troy, so no if you sure. could put the banana that you had. It's okay. Oh. Shall I peel this and put it right in? Uh huh. Good breakfast. I hope this tastes goody. Yes, I do like bananas. So that's, and do you that's remember a plus. your cereal you had? Mmm, yum. <laughs> Not too much. 
Not that hungry today? Yeah, not that hungry. <laughs> a little juice? Oh, this is fun. So the kids will all get a chance to do this oh, yes. at the Kid Discovery class, which is so great. Mm -hmm. All right, Make now sure what? All seal it up. Seal it up. Okay, we don't want to. I'm going to hold the top of your tummy, and you be the guest. And oh. what happens in your small intestine? Go ahead, eat. Okay, use a little muscle here. Mm -hmm. it's a little little delicious. Muscle. Delicious. How fun. So hands-on learning at its finest, you guys. This is great. Oh. What do you think? Is that how it looked this morning when oh. you ate? No. Very different. Very different. The kids must love this, Tina. It must be so much fun for both you and the kids. And Troy, what do you hope the kids take away from all this fun that Tina has with them up here in the, in the Little Learner's Lab? Well, certainly at this age, exposure is the most important thing, that they're exposed to concepts like this, like this that I can tell you I had no idea things like this were going on when I was no. anywhere near two through five. But then it's also starting with that, that inspiration and helping the kids understand that they're going to be learning more and more about this throughout their lives in the hopes that eventually they consider science, technology, math, engineering as careers way down the road. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking us inside thank all you. of the fun here at the Da Vinci Science Center. We'll be back for our next Up and Adam Science with our friends from the Da Vinci Science Center on October 8th. And you'll be able to find all of our segments online at WFMZ.com. We'll be right back.